Good evening, and welcome to Have I Got News For You. My name is Martin Clunes, and the fact that I've been a guest on this programme several times before means that there's only one chair on this set I haven't sat in. <laughs> anyway. It's the Iraqi war, isn't oh, it? Oh, well spotted, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, what was the term coined by the Americans for the opening phase of the war? Um, the, uh, Donald? <laughs> In shock and awe. and shah. Shock and awe. <laughs> shock and awe. All right, who gets the points? We're on the same oh. side. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm getting friendly fire here. <laughs> So, are you unhappy about the situation, Glenda? Which situation are we talking about? The toppling of Saddam, the statue oh, falling yes. off. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I think rather more than the statue has been toppled, hasn't it? They still haven't found him. Perhaps he's no. hiding in the same place as the weapons of mass destruction. Perhaps in the that was, statue was him. Oh, him really? <laughs> that would be, himself in that would be a clever idea. Oh, right! <laughs> and just stood in the sun like that. He gets chucked in the skip and he runs off home. And then, uh, that's very it good. would be a bad couple of days for him, though, because everyone hit him with a shoe, because yeah. that's the ultimate offence. Yeah. Except yeah. someone who... Pull down the trousers and rub the genitals in the face. Mm. That's the real insult. <laughs> in some marriages, that's a sign of forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> who went on to uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And they devised this scheme where he, uh, somebody in the audience would cough to let him know, you know, he was on the right answer. And. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got to the answers yet. So <laughs> The plan was brilliant in that you'd have the most stupid person you can find as the front man. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no possibility he'll know even one answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a guy in the audience that knows all the answers. Why isn't he sitting in the yeah. chair? <laughs> but you know what he said? He said, what? I was coughing, but I wasn't signalling. <laughs> anyway, no! <laughs> One. Yeah, that and Chris Tarrant's yeah. explanation of how he didn't pick up on it, did you hear what that was? No, what did he say? He said, well, short of someone lighting a fire and sending smoke signals, I'd have no idea. <laughs> Tosser! <laughs> 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 Tosser! Oh, did you know the answer to any of the questions, yeah. I did know the answer to some of the questions. So did you? Yes. Well, the man who designed the um, centre of Paris, and there is a thing called the Boulevard Houseman. Yes. Cause that was the £500,000 question, I think. And this that is was. where he was brilliant, the, 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 the Major Ingram. Because, uh, as Ian says, Houseman was the answer. So he says, Houseman de um, de uh, designed which major city? Is it A, Paris? He looks blank. B, Berlin? He goes, ah, Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> German name, half a million pounds. It couldn't be easier than that. Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't listen to any other Athens, no. He no, says, he's no, no I, I, think it's, I think it's Berlin. It's Berlin. There's no coffin. I think it's Berlin. <laughs> It's definitely Berlin. Nobody's <laughs> coughing. It, I, don't, I don't think it's Paris. <coughs> I think it's Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Just as Ian says, you'd be better off with bad puss sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Just dreadful. <laughs> Because I think the, the agreement was, this was a suggestion that the agreement was that he would go as far as 125,000 and not go any further than that, because, you know, because they thought, mm. well, no, the, the more it goes on, the more likely you are to be discovered. But he thought he was doing so well that he just kept going. Yeah, it was on a roll. And then when he won the million, him and the wife went to the dressing room and they had a blazing round. <laughs> You know, under what circumstances do you win a million pounds over blazing land? You bloody idiot! What are we going to do with all that money? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think I'm going to put that? <laughs> I'm going to sign to this pocket. How's it going to go in there? <laughs> Toss pot. <laughs> it's not likely. Is it, really? I think it's the story of the year. Can we talk about it every week? Yeah. <laughs> Still, you'll feel guilty if he dies of SARS, won't you? <laughs> We've all had pictures we're not happy with, haven't we, Ian? <laughs> Do I know what's coming? I've no idea. I Does don't. it involve a Middle Eastern country that isn't Lebanon? That's a girl called Jordan. Oh, right. Was she after your BAFTA? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see much of her these days? <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody sees quite a lot of her. <laughs> right. Uh, Tony Blair, uh, Putin, Ruby Wax. <coughs> um, <laughs> I think it's Ruby Wax. <laughs> Why? Um, because Glenda coughed. <laughs> I see you giving away that part of the plan. <laughs> Ant's the odd one out, cos he's the only one who's trapped in Putin's transparent stomach. <laughs>
Yeah. We've Why all done voices like... for animated. You see, yes. that's what I said. Except Putin, he hasn't done any Putin voices. Putin hasn't done a voice. No, it's but he voice. is furious with the resemblance he bears to Dobby the house elf in the latest <laughs> Harry Potter movie. <laughs> Oh, well done, The Express, there, for spotting that similarity. Is it yes, a couple more? That Milo, is brilliant. Does he go to the White House and say, Oh, Mr Bush, been a bad <laughs> <laughs> A few more lookalikes here. You'll like this one, Linda. Peter Mandelson and Mrs Tweedy from Chicken Run. That's fantastic. We do need to know which is which on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not to mention Lady Penelope's show for Parker and Noel Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> what swallowed by sofa? Esther Ransom. <laughs> <laughs> On live television. It was a disaster. She was interviewing the Archbishop of Canterbury and suddenly the sofa went, oh, and the last, the last thing you saw was the teeth going, so how long have you been in the net when she was gone? I don't know where she's gone. She's down the back of a sofa. Disney does version of 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> The squirrel on the ski saying, Thank God we got this before the innovations catalogue closed down. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Glenn, they get this. That's how it's. I'll, I'll start again. But what about the other caption? Hmm? Um, aren't we being told what the caption was? No, there wasn't one. We had to think of one. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Paul and Glenn, they get this. Wait a minute, don't we get our caption? Uh, that was it. What? We just had it. But what was it? No, there wasn't a real answer. Oh. <laughs> No, no, no. That was just no. a photo. Have you seen this programme? No. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the idea. Oh, well, you'd like it. It wasn't in the headlines, then. No. Okay. Now, they show you a picture of a squirrel. Yeah. They ask you to say something even vaguely amusing, um, and then they cut it from right. the show. And... <laughs> they haven't shown us a photograph of the squirrel. No, no, no. What do no. you think the real cat... <laughs> He's very mad. What do you think the real caption was? The you can see why disgust decommissioning. <laughs> <or? laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Yes, it's an English characteristic. <laughs> <laughs> so we've now got to find a caption for this squirrel picture. Is this right? No, you get your oh, own she picture. Knows oh, the game right. Well, I've got do. squirrels now. Well, it's, if you wind your neck in, we'll get your picture out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Paul and Glenda, get this. Ah, oh, oh, right. Blanky on the drums. Does he know he's on the drums, or, <laughs> or does he think he's just been extremely he noisy? And he doesn't even know he's on the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see the squirrel <laughs> again? Yeah, I get the squirrel. Out. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's a lovely fellow. I like the squirrel. The squirrel saying, Martin, for God's sake, end the show. <laughs> what did Boris Johnson find in the wreckage of Tariq Aziz's Oh, this house? was fantastic. Every other journalist in the world goes to Baghdad and comes up with a secret document. Boris goes in. Oh, I can't find any. Um, <laughs> but he goes to Tariq Aziz's old house and finds a cigar holder. Fantastic scoop, Boris. <laughs> and what else did he find in the house? Anybody know? Apparently found the Arabic version of the game of Risk. And so while, while, we've, all, while we've been here thinking about the weapons of mass destruction, Tariq Aziz has actually been sitting there on a Saturday night throwing dice with lots of little <laughs> plastic tanks and trying to invade Alaska. It was Kamchatka you could never get in Risk, wasn't it? Only from Alaska. Oh, right. Yeah. Now you have to come in that way. Yeah. So you, That's right. you were trying to take over the world early. <laughs> Yes. How's I was, that going? I was more successful <laughs> on the board. <laughs> I know you. I've seen you before. <laughs> Were you in Midsummer Murders? <laughs> uh, it was, uh, it was not that's it was next week. Thing. It was a bit like that. But then I so was the treatment it. of Angus Dayton on this programme. <laughs> I never so, Yes, it's the, it's the latest development on that? Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing your brain, William. That booey. No, it's used to. It. You'll find it washes over him. I was with the Tory party long enough to know how to ignore boos. <laughs> yeah. so, so you weren't very popular. It's then. the. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, just because I tell jokes doesn't mean you should have political opinions. <laughs> Say in the House of Commons. <laughs> yeah, 
yes. jokes that what you we're mentioned. talking about. We'll be hearing those. <laughs> Oh, they're coming along. Are they? <laughs> yes. Can you give us a signal when you've done that? <laughs> well, it's SARS. It, it's SARS. It's the epidemic. The world's least frightening disease. <laughs> well well you done. Say? You've Because 90% of the people who get it are fine, and the only ones who die are the ones who are treated in jungle clearings. <laughs> <laughs> My geography's not too hot. How many jungles are there in Beijing? Well, there's a wood. <laughs> SARS isn't scary. That's the most important. Only in the Daily Mail is it scary, where everything's scary. Yeah. Yoghurt is scary. <laughs> I think it was right. a Canadian PR stunt to get on the news. <laughs> like we've got it. it. Yes, we've got it. We've got, we've got SARS here. We're, look how important we are. We're so important, people come here with SARS. That's what I think. So, so Canadians aren't one of those small bits of humanity you like, Jeremy? Well... <laughs> I don't know them. Does anybody know a Canadian? Yeah. No, you see, nobody... How can yeah, you have an opinion? The person over there knows a Canadian. Then, then the girl next to her says, put your hand down. <laughs> <laughs> and what's said to have started, Sars? It's chicken, isn't it? Chicken. Now, yes, isn't it to do with living close to chickens? You would know about this, Ian, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were brought up in it's Hong Kong. I wasn't referring to anything more recent than oh, that. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> Go home. There's been a chicken invasion. <laughs> I was no, brought no. up in Hong Kong, so no. if anyone My wants chickens. to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and so, how small is it? Is, according to the mail, nanotechnology is technology on the scale of about one hundred thousandth of the width of a human hair. For those familiar with human hair, here you <laughs> I suppose um, I should be flattered to be made bald jokes at by you. <laughs> <laughs> I did used to say, I looked like you. But then I got the lawyers in. It was so, <laughs> <laughs> so did I. <laughs> isn't there a danger with why you two stop mutually admiring each other? <laughs> isn't there a danger this technology could get so small we won't be able to find it? <laughs> William, did you vote today? I have voted by post. You voted? I just, I just want to Have you make... voted? I have voted. Who did you vote for? Um, well, I don't know if anyone ever told you, it's a secret ballot in this country. <laughs> but I'd like to know. We'd all like to know. Rest assured, it wasn't you. <laughs> no, but you'd like to know who votes Conservative so you can thank them yes, all individually. Exactly. <laughs> Next question. Whose shopping list this week included tighty whitey undies? Yours? A guess, but... Uh, a I do on. know who you are now. You're from that political party from the olden days. <laughs> in the future. Yeah, oh, no, I don't think so. The only one anyone recognises is Anne Widdicombe. <laughs> and she's confused us all by going blonde. I was watching her for half an hour on Question Time, thinking, blimey, Sue Barker's slapped on a bit of weight. <laughs> How does Bob Marley like his donuts? That's We're not... jamming. We're jamming, absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm doing a double act. <laughs> what have Rainbow Trout been trying to tell us this week? <laughs> Paul and Jeremy? Ow. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's this great thing yes. that fish can't feel pain, but of course they, they can. It seems to be demonstrated that they can. But the anglers have always said that they can't feel pain. There's no reason why they should feel pain. They're swimming along, great big hook goes in their mouth, hooks them out. They go, oh, 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 go into a net, boom, 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 back in the thing. They don't feel any pain. Because <laughs> they're never told as they feel pain. I don't well, think I foxes to... feel pain. <laughs> well, no fox has ever told me that it felt pain. When I ran one over the other day, on purpose. <laughs> I could have braked, I chose not to. How did the French uh, justify voting for Chirac rather than Le Pen? Oh, they had banners up which said, vote for the crook, not the fascist. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to suggest this to Geoffrey Archer next time. <laughs> God, he fooled you, though, didn't he? He really did. You used to use his gym, didn't you? Well, actually, he's very... Was it really a gym, though? Because I could imagine him saying, come and use my luxury gym, and you get down there, and there's just a Black & Decker benchmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Michael Crick? Was he the biographer? 
Didn't, yes. didn't he write a letter to you saying, outlining six or seven different points about Geoffrey Archer, why he, you, sh you shouldn't endorse mm. him as candidate for mm. mayor no, of London? No, I didn't, actually. He says he did. Do but you? do you regret <laughs> that? Do you, feel, do you feel a bit of a fool? In, just think, in retrospect. I think it was my biggest mistake. Right. Really? Right. Well, well, that's honest. <laughs> Talking of which, <laughs> an honest politician, you don't meet many of these. No. Um, <laughs> how did the... Uh, Talking of which, what, how, what how did the... What were your other mistakes? How did the... Uh, what were your other mistakes? What's the second biggest? Uh, <laughs> I just concentrate on the bigger. That's a big, big enough one, actually. <laughs> Featuring this week's guest publication, a particular favourite of mine, Black Belt Magazine. <laughs> blue belt myself, and that's the way I like it. <laughs> do you still practice, then? You, do, do you still do a weekly... Oh, yeah, of... once or twice a week. Yeah. Can you yeah. kill people with your bare hands? <laughs> yes, but only one editor at a time. <laughs> <laughs> now, the actual answer from Black Belt magazine is Jeet Kundo Grappling. <laughs> isn't. You can't fit that in there. <laughs> Just, you've skipped down too many, haven't you? I have. I've skipped an answer. Oh. I've skipped an answer. So, let's have the next question, which has now got very easy. <laughs> when to try what and when to not even think about it? We don't know if that's a blank or is that a black belt that's actually physically been stuck <laughs> in the face. <laughs> what you said before? Jitch New New Guinea. That's what a Yorkshire <laughs> accent. The answer, as Thank I previously you. gave away, is Jeet Kundo grappling. Well, that brings us to the in end of... In a fight between you and Seb Co, right? <laughs> Didn't you nearly kill him once? He did pass out, but it, well, that's different from actually being killed. No, but he... <laughs> background. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win between Frank Bruno and Anne Widdicombe? <laughs> You'd have a go there, wouldn't it? <laughs> My money's on Anne. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched this programme. How long has it been on for now? 13 Four, years, and yeah. I've never thought of an answer. Not like I've never thought of one as good as you guys. Yeah. I've never thought of one. <laughs> here I am now again, faced with the humiliation Ooh, of sitting looking at it, going, the <laughs> name. <laughs> a horse and a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> And the wheelbarrow's going on the wheelbarrow. Yeah. The horse is saying... Well, that's just brilliant, Jeremy. Thank you very much. <laughs> is the horse saying to the wolf, just stay on the grass? If you're on the road, Jeremy Clarkson will bloody kill you. <laughs> I mean, is he having a 21st birthday? He is, and he's having a 21st birthday party. Is Charlotte invited? To Carla. Oh. <laughs> no significant body movement there. <laughs> I just you thought young be? people's occasion, you know, having a glass or two of Tizer or whatever they're up to. <laughs> yes, yes, so, well, what's uh, actually William's favourite chat up line? What's he say? I'll be king one day, get in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Why bother when he's a girl? I'm meeting you now, isn't it? Look at the stamps, that's my mum, get him off. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard his chat up line then? Oh, uh, no, but yes, here, have. on this little card, it says, Hi, I'm the future king, wanna pull? You <laughs> <laughs> uh, tried on me. <laughs> really? Do you fancy him, Charlotte? No, no. You don't? No. You prefer the kind of, you know, bit of rough, maybe Harry? <laughs> no, 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 neither of them, really. Neither of them are my type. Ray, no, you want someone who's equivalent level of richness, really, don't you? Prince Philip. No, no. What about, Sa Prince Philip? <laughs> <laughs> what about Saddam? He's got a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very heartwarming story, and particularly for anyone who has been to Tunbridge Wells. You it... live near Tunbridge Wells, don't you? I do! I know! No, I think it's terrific. Next time in Tunbridge Wells, if I'm, I don't know, surrounded by rowdy youths... Yes. <laughs> or the Joker, perhaps. Or the Joker is attacking me and trying to take my wallet. <laughs> On comes this man. No, apparently in the local paper, a whole load of people wrote in saying, this brilliant man, I was having trouble being pestered by three young people. And along came the Cape Crusader and said, go, leave this person alone. And they all said, blimey, it's Batman, and they ran off. <laughs> <laughs> Superman runs a kebab shop in Lewisham. <laughs> <laughs> X-ray vision just heats up the meat as it turns out. <laughs> J-Lo, a type of low-fat yoghurt, I believe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, delicious. Um... No, I know who J Lo is. Do you? No. <laughs> she's got the big booty. The, the big, big booty? <laughs> yeah. What, she's raided a bank? <laughs> she's got a massive yeah. arse. Oh, I see. <laughs> and that's apparently quite a fashionable thing. I seem to remember that was awful a few years ago. People with fat asses, but now all the rage. Really big, right? Bums are the new tits, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> 
everybody do the national IQ test? No, but I've got four A-levels. <laughs> Did you really get four A-levels? Or have you included general studies? Of course I've included general, general studies. Pathetic. <laughs> Why is there a pathetic? Class pathetic. Sorry, do carry on. <laughs> you do general studies? Yes, but nobody includes it. <laughs> well, I like saying I got cycling proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> I got 25 yards breaststroke, but only the theory. <laughs> Surprisingly liberal school. <laughs> Field in every single newspaper this week, Tony Blair was 50 on Tuesday, so as he nears the end of his life, it's time to look back <laughs> on the 50 glorious years. <laughs> Lucky that guitar's in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> During an interview with Tony Blair for Vanity Fair magazine last week... Oh, what? Alistair Campbell interrupted. That's not the question. Oh, really? Well, then I should be fine. the interview was saying... The interview was saying... We don't do what? We don't do God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm duly upset when he gets one right. I know! Don't be sad. I'm sorry. I just wanted the lady on the team to win. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, if oh, she she will. Before you've asked a question, you should then sort of take their first answer. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I don't even think you've got that point. <laughs> we did. Well, we can change it. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's just like remarking GCSEs, oh, isn't it? <laughs> Just whack it up a few grades. <laughs> well, the, the second one along the top is uh, the one with the arrow. I think it's probably Frank Sinatra. I, 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 there was a moment of that. The one with the beard. It looks like Tchaikovsky. I didn't recognise it as Tchaikovsky, but is it Tchaikovsky? It's Tchaikovsky. Right. So who's the fourth one? Oh, that's easy. Can we play the fourth one again, please? <laughs> that's thingy. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter plays it all the time, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> what should, can you phone your daughter up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is? I don't know who it is. Let's know who that is. Why? Who's, going to Who's got those white, white teeth? Uh, think American. Um, George Bush. I I think American. <laughs> think American Ooh. pop princess. Britney Spears. Britney Spears, exactly. Oh, so, Ross uh, Diana Sinatra. Ross, Frank Sinatra, P Tchaikovsky and Britney, Britney Spears. <laughs> the answer is they are all pieces of music that were found in the CD collection of former Iraqi Deputy Prime Minister Tariq Aziz, except Britney Spears, right. although her posters were plastered over the walls in one of Saddam's palaces. Um, so what are Britney's management trying to do with her at the moment? Kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. They're actually trying to shift the tension away from personal gossip. Is that ever going to happen? And what is the personal gossip? The personal gossip? Well, you've got the whole thing with her and a split from Justin. Now, see, this is my part of the show. All yeah. the <laughs> stuff now is just then, yeah. crap at that. So, do you think that's true? Then, she split with Justin? Oh, yeah, they've talked about it. Both of them have talked about it openly in interviews. Mm. Who's she with? So, that's not, that's, so... Oh, she's been with a string of guys. <laughs> Galloway paid in cash for what? Recipe of cough syrup. <laughs> Think more exotic. <laughs> Recipe <laughs> for la <laughs> cough <laughs> Uh Japanese men holding. Look at all the piss we got out of this fish. Hey. <laughs> oh, that was unnecessary. And in Los Angeles, Catherine Zeta Jones's baby is old enough to grasp the idea that that old man is actually her father. <laughs> On Tuesday, a cartoon in the Times drew an amusing parallel with I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. As did the Express cartoonist, the Sun cartoonist, and the Mirror's headline writers. Whilst the London Evening Standard went with this. <laughs> Has anyone seen the amusing front cover of Private Eye this week? Yeah, it was extremely funny. It was <laughs> saying, I'm a liability, get me out of here. Monday night, very amusing, and only £1.30. <laughs> the Telegraph showed us what Theresa May was wearing. 
Oh. Ah, vote me shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any idea what they did in the afternoons, according to Theresa May? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who turned up to the weekend in a new Porsche 911? Boris. It was Boris. He turned up saying, I'm about to bond, it's going to be tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what he looked like uh, <laughs> before he got into his car. I'm sure I've seen that shot in a porn movie. <laughs> We're meant to have a referendum on this, but Blair doesn't want a referendum. Perfectly good reason, he'd lose. Uh, <laughs> so we're not having a referendum. We have a referendum on whether they're local council elections, whether you want a monkey in Hartlepool, uh, <laughs> really important issues, but on the fact that you want to be ruled by a group of people in Brussels, it's not important. You were going off on one there, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's sort of irritating, Give really. Give it another three minutes and it'll be f***ing Italians! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that, that is a reasonable point, actually. <laughs> it's very easy to sneer, but if you mean the Italians like Mr Prodi, the commissioner who had to resign along with the whole of the commission on charges of corruption, it's a reasonable point about Italians. Or Mr <laughs> Berlusconi, oh, another crook. No, no. Every just one of them. Hard. crooks. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the left-wing comic and saying F in the hope of getting a laugh. Parsome <laughs> <laughs> and irrelevant. Can I say that was tremendously exciting watching yeah. that? <laughs> you should go on a bonding weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really bother me that much. But the um, <laughs> does it bother you, Ian? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to check Ian's blood pressure now, actually. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're made up now, so I'm Tony and Claire. I love it. I'm glad it had a happy ending, because no, I was worried for the two of them. It's a bit nasty for them. They look so sweet so together, and you hate to see them fall out. Yeah. <laughs> no, the old left, they used to be anti-Europe too, so he'll come round. <laughs> what vintage old left? What, the... what, what, what... Tony Ben, Peter Shaw, that sort of group. Oh, they were all anti-Europe. Were they? His vintage, really. Yeah, but they weren't anti-European the way you were saying, were they? Don't you know? Tony Ben never used to go, oh, bloody baguettes, they're a bloody disgrace. No, but <laughs> enough, I didn't say that. You just made that up. <laughs> well, they started again. <laughs> they started again. They were like, they, they were. It's all very well people coming on and saying, oh, journalists make it up, and you watch someone with the most deviously twisted argument I've seen in at least well five minutes. <laughs> Bloody baguettes. That was paraphrased. He said it, 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 he said, it, he said bloody I mean, baguettes. I more baguettes than you pretended to have hot pot dinners, mate. <laughs> <laughs> never go to bed on a row, that's what my granny used to say. You just... <laughs> no, 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 early. Never go to bed on a rhino. <laughs> this is the man on the right saying, when they told me I was going to make a film for 20th Century Fox, I naturally thought... <laughs> Prescott tells Manlison to shut up. <laughs> So this is about the Euro, I presume. Come on, yes, you're warm, you're doing well. Oh, you're a little tease, aren't yes. you? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Big tease. <laughs> I feel I've stumbled across another side of you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in meteorites, though, not aliens? Yeah, I believe in meteorites. Right, Everyone really. believes in meteorites. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the last <laughs> thing. Do you believe in the moon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> They're not a fabled creature drawn across <laughs> the sky. <laughs> Comets, they also exist, right? Yeah. <laughs> but elves, no. <laughs> so 750 times more likely to die in an asteroid impact than to win the National Lottery this uh, year. Yes, uh, thank you, Lambert. I think we're going to go on. Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you're absolutely right. No, it's <laughs> very important, right. Um, <laughs> yes. Chances of winning yes. the National Lottery and then being hit by an asteroid. Yes, no. small. Small. Thank, thank you. As well, thank you very much, Lewis. Oh, thank you very much. Bad Hold on. The heat that gets Hold on. That is it now. Yeah, that is quite enough. It's the heat. It's the heat, it's the heat John. That gets you. It's the heat that gets you from the asteroid. Yeah. Is it? The lava. There is a cream you can get. <laughs> yes, as it says. What do you mean, yes? Yes. <laughs> Nobody said anything in the last five minutes, which the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. It is He's yes. hoping it's an edit point. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. US in POW Barney. What's that all about? Uh, they have Iraqi people who they're interrogating at the moment. And in order to break them, 
uh, they played the Barney song at them repeatedly for 45 minutes. Right? I, I have no children myself. I am told that this is a t like an appalling thing anyway. I love you, you love me. That's, I'm quoting, by the way. Uh, no, uh, I don't know if they actually get Barney to come into the cell. Right, well, and that's uh, I got to. No, I think, I think that's against the Geneva Convention. Oh, okay. Let us have a go at some of this music and just see whether we feel tortured. Okay, Here we go. Then. I've got children, stop it! And a knick-knack paddy <laughs> wag. Here's a darker bone. Did somebody, get, did somebody write that tune? Let's go on now, because there's more music. OK. Here we go. Sleep with one eye open Ripping your pillow tight Is that Barney's... Uh, he's he's changed direction, okay. hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Is right. that a difficult second album for Barney? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that standards in television are falling, Lambert? What about uh, your girlfriend? No, Sean did very... She loved being out in the jungle from, when, from the moment she arrived to the moment she left, but she was bored to tears. Nothing to do. She didn't do anything for a long time, did she? That was the problem. Do you, you know what the problem was with Sean Lloyd? Yeah, she couldn't change her shoes for seven days. You didn't change what is that? Shoes? Shoes? That's what they called it when you didn't have a dump in the jungle. That's true. Why, why would she, why that she want to go to the toilet in her shoes? Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they called it, for the, for the sensibilities of the viewing public. But when yeah. she finally did... Yeah. Oh, Whoa. God, are we actually putting this out? <laughs> <laughs> it's what, what exactly, bad enough exactly that ITV I... puts this rubbish on. <laughs> have we got to talk about it? Wait a moment. When she finally got into the, the mood... Oh, John! <laughs> show called Celebrity Corpse, where you dig up somebody after five years and try and guess who they were. <laughs> <laughs> Darius is furiously <laughs> digging his way into the ground. <laughs> 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 yes. It's yes. the relentless. <laughs> <laughs> if, ever, if ever the word yes was mis misused, that was they. Yes. Yes. Say it's no. It's the relentless no. march of pop culture. Giscard d'Estaing is now so grand, he thinks he's what? The uh, piano. <laughs> the answer yeah. is Louis XIV. No. Oh, yes, he does, too. Let us say moi. I don't want to go into another rant, but really. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, the state is me. Ah. That's basically his plan for the new European uh, constitution. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too bothered, really. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm the same. <laughs> Wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> you excited a lot of people last week, Ian, with that. What did you say, Ian? You were too busy watching I'm yes. a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Saying to your girlfriend, what's wrong with your no. shoes? <laughs> <laughs> it's really captured your imagination. I'd you wash love if I were you. <laughs> Uh, do you know who the Tories are threatening to bring in to produce a report on the BBC if they get into power? Ooh. Uh, it's actually David Elstein, who's uh, former head of Channel 5, well, the that's... country's fifth most popular broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Adam Faith is gone, isn't it? What, what a brilliant last remark that oh, was. That was. Adam Faith on his deathbed. <laughs> that was, <laughs> remind us of the last remark. Channel 5, it's all shit, isn't it? And then he died. Mm. <laughs> As he was watching the television, uh, his young mistress was... 23 and charming. The trouble with famous last words, isn't it? If you're on your deathbed and you say something, it's witty and ooh, but it's charming or it's deep, it's profound, then you've got to shut up. Because <laughs> you can't then say, could you pass the tissue? <laughs> and then you've got Do you know where uh, Spike Milligan's, what his gravestone says? Uh, I Brilliant. told you I was ill. Yeah. <laughs> Beneath this sod lies another one. That was another one he was going to do. <laughs> but that's the reason why yeah. he didn't do it, obviously. <laughs> Pointless rubbish. It's to do with the Eurovision Song Contest, isn't it? Nul point. And the song by Gemini was considered to be rubbish. Anyway, it certainly came bottom of the poll. Yes, no points at all for the first time ever. I thought that Turkey would do quite well because of the belly dancing, but of course I was really backing Tattoo. Were you really? I was, Why? They were useless. Tattoo were not useless. They were rubbish. <laughs> tattoo oh, are personal friends of mine. Sorry. <laughs> John Major's a personal yeah, friend of yours. John Major <laughs> is a very good man. He's a ve he would actually quite like to do this, and he would come wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. 
so we've read. Can I say, yeah. John Major, he dresses so well and so quickly. Can I just pick you up on the... <laughs> <laughs> a, a tattoo really personal friends of yours? Well, I have met them, and I actually know Tat better than two, but I have <laughs> I, I well, that, That's them. certainly true. <laughs> 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 Who would like to see the Eurovision entry again? Well, I didn't see it at all, so... Well, shall we I, see it? So I see don't it? know if it's as bad as people say. Well, watch this. OK. <laughs> to worry, eh? it's only in front of 150 million people. <laughs> Do you know why they're called Gemini? Yes. yes. We were in tune. We yeah. were in tune. Perfect. Maybe why? we should do it next year. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to answer the question or should we just post it on CFAX? <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I, I, I spot train spotters. <laughs> <laughs> I go along to Clapton Junction and I saw there's one on platform four. How many of the uh, 100,000 have you got now? Um, well, I'm, I, there's, a, there's a bloke in Leicester I still haven't got. Uh, Ian, Ian Chewitt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you record what they're wearing as well? What they're wearing, what they've had for breakfast, how tall they are. The Make of Anorak. Make of Anorak, you know, fleece lined, hood up, hood down, <laughs> summer winds, all weathers. I've got them all in my book. You can send a little message to Ian Chewitt now. OK. Hello, Ian. <laughs> What came first, right? The His Earl. name. The Earl yeah. came first. The Earl yeah. sandwich invented the sandwich. They were sitting around when he was doing the game, and he, he wanted something sort of quickly that he could eat, and so mm. he, there was some meat somewhere, and he said, put it between two pieces of bread, mm. and so he started eating that. Mm. And he said, that's a very good idea. What mm. do you call it? And he said, well, I'm going to name it after myself. From mm. now on, it's going to be known as a Colin. <laughs> and then, after several hundred years, it became a sandwich. But no, it was this Earl of Sandwich that supposedly invented a sandwich. Cool. And he was playing that night with the Duke of Wellington. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who kicked him. Yeah. <laughs> Thus giving rise to another <laughs> eponymous artefact, yeah. the beef shoes. The boot. <laughs> beef shoes. Beef, beef shoes. shoes. Do, you remember when you, do you remember when you used to wear beef shoes during the war? And the you, third when guy... When you couldn't get leather, beef shoes. Beef sho the third guy was the Earl of Cardigan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was one hell of a four. It really was. Not bad. Lord Traffic Cone was there, do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> and the he, first... The he first... invented a telephone box. <laughs> <laughs> the first Baron Trouser Press. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Of Corby. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, is this all bullshit now? <laughs> no. I think you'll find. <clears throat> now, to be fair, I asked a serious question, and now it seems it's almost no, no. like you're lying. Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. Excessive lying was invented by the Earl of Bullshit in 1678. <laughs> <laughs> he was called Lord Blair. <laughs> <laughs> the French pay homage to what? Ian Hislop. <laughs> They love him. They do. They're going to open a theme park up. Have you heard about it, Ian? No, I've missed it so far. It's a theme park based on Ian. Oh, lovely. And where did Bush move on to after the G8 summit? To the Middle East to solve the next crisis. There was a certain etiquette of handshakes that became interesting. When does it get to Mars? It gets to Mars on Christmas Day, and then they this discover year. if there's life on Mars, yeah. And then on Boxing Day, the Americans go in and execute a regime change. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see the inventor? We had a quick glimpse of him. Yeah, got him. Yeah, he's Colin yeah, Tillinger. Is that how they launch it? <laughs> <laughs> he runs really quickly up the top of a hill. <laughs> How will we know uh, when it's got to Mars? Um, they'll lose all communication with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a call sign by Blur. I think we've got it, actually. I've all our operators on. are busy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what did Cuddles, who's the first uh, guide pony in the US, do recently? <laughs> he went on Oprah. The pony. The, yeah, the pony went on Oprah. Went obviously. on Oprah. Yeah, it's With, very difficult to get guests in, in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Did the man who owned the guide pony know he was going to the Oprah show? <laughs> Did he think he was going down the shops? Where am I now? Where was that crap? 
talking about the slept with me sister? What am I doing here? We've <laughs> also been tried out on aeroplanes. Is it like a homing pony? What? It's kind of like a homing pony. <laughs> there you go. Oh, mm. oh, sweet. But they have to take their shoes off to be examined for security reasons. <laughs> Bloke saying to the pony, what the hell have you taken me on this for? <laughs> I said I wanted a pint of milk. <laughs> Those adverts for insurance and, and glorified loan sharks are the only <laughs> things that are on on daytime telly when children's programmes are on, because I've got children. The other night, I was, this is absolutely true, I was putting my four-year-old to bed and he was all kind of sleepy and, and he said, um, Mummy? And I said, yeah. And he said, are you a homeowner? <laughs> 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 it gets worse, it gets worse. And I said, well, I asked, so, so, shall I get into the whole mortgage thing? And I said, well, <laughs> sort of. Why? And he said, do you need an unsecured personal loan? <laughs> <laughs> it's really disturbing, the power of advertising. <laughs> anyway, I do, and he's done me very painful. <laughs> uh, as of this week, uh, what might you not be allowed to do in a pub? Oh. Swear. You're um, not allowed to say firkin in a Weatherspoon pub. <laughs> Which groups did uh, a spokesman blame? Drunken blind men looking for their ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, little bastard? <laughs> Come here. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, shift workers, builders and students which covers the same kind yes. of territory, <laughs> yes. doesn't it? As well as a ban on the F word, drinkers in Weatherspoon Who's pubs. Whose bleak nose bag is this on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't bring a pony in the pub. Is someone talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I bet they are. I bet that bloody pony again. What's he doing now? He's had a piss on the sword vinegar crisp. <laughs> <laughs> I flew the wrecking a bit last week. I didn't want a pint of milk. <laughs> as well as a ban on the F word. He's got a bloody waste of time. <laughs> I was all right with a Labrador, and somebody says, oh, have a pony, they're cheap, and, you know, I've, I've been skiing. <laughs> I've been down a mine in Abu Ghraveni, something about it's in his jeans. <laughs> George Bush, Tony Blair, Peter Mandelson, and Greg Dyke. Rebecca Wade, Piers Morgan, <laughs> Richard Desmond, and Richard Littlejohn. Delia Smith, Nigella Lawson, Gordon Ramsay, and Ken Hom. Anne Robinson... William Hague, John Sargent, and Jimmy Savile. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> you are one out of 16 people. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it can be anything, can't it? I mean, where do you start? Is it a new Sergeant Pepper album cover? <laughs> <laughs> Have they all given an item of clothing? No, it's about someone who's not there. Sure. The Queen. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, admittedly, there's nobody else famous left. <laughs> Somebody's not there. Basil Rathbone. <laughs> How did he sustain himself in the latter parts? Uh, um, listening to a particular kind of music. Uh, songs. Dire Straits. Uh, Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. And uh, Jenny from the Block by Ian. By J Lo. Very good. Fantastic. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> it's a very interesting song in which she reasserts her ghetto roots against accusations that um, she has in some way sold out. Um, it's, oh, I find it quite moving. What are fair game for reality television? I think it's insects. Is the right answer. It's okay to, to eat them on reality television. Insects. Oh, so I thought they... And she constructed a sort of <laughs> ant farm and you voted for the ants to leave. Fifth <laughs> day in, the ants still ignoring the bees. <laughs> <laughs> Their task for the day, to pick up a very small bit of grass. <laughs> He's saying, I was in the war, you know, and she's saying, oh, all right, what do you want, a medal? <laughs> I know your face. <laughs> Excuse me, love, you haven't seen a pony round here, have you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Whoa, thank you. They can't all be wrong, can they? Anyway, good evening. Yes, the papers weren't lying. It is me. But don't worry, there'll be no gimmicks, no catchphrases. So welcome to Have I Got News For You? For you, have I got... Yes! 
What a lovely audience. <laughs> Lo and you're so much better than last week. <laughs> and uh, our next couple are Ian... Uh, oh, it's father and son. <laughs> <laughs> that would be appropriate with grandfather in the chair. <laughs> Oh, the map on the back of the euro coin features only those countries in the EU, which means Norway is not included, and gives Scandinavia an unsettling shape. <laughs> <laughs> Whose outfit matched the Queen's? Uh, the Lego that? Queen. Was the there. little miniature. Yeah, little miniature Queen. Okay. The same bored expression. How did they manage to catch that? <laughs> They also they also saw their own busts in Lego. <laughs> 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 Don't give us a clue. Which one's that meant to be? <laughs> it actually looks like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> all the royals, they, they obviously had all these jobs on one day, and somehow Charles got to taste the whisky. Mm. Yes. Can you imagine when they were parcelled out? You do the caravan, <laughs> you do Legoland, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah, whiskey because I'm heir to the throne. <laughs> I'm more worried that Lego Land is the highlight of our uh, tourism industry, but there you go mm. for the Queen Girls. It's quite good, actually, that is bit. It? You know, that trooping of the colour bit in front. It's pretty hot. Did it? Did it? <laughs> did it bring a tear to your eye when you went? It did. I think they played um, British Grenadiers, too. Mm. <laughs> Was that how excited you were? Yeah. <laughs> your Iraqi cards right. <laughs> now, these are the cards that the Americans... Please. <laughs> this is satire. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are the cards that the Americans made to show <laughs> all the Iraqi bad guys in the war. Now, Ian, you go first. Thank you, Bruce. It's the king of clubs. RCC vice chairman is at Ibram. Now then, it's a high card. <laughs> so, think about this. The audience will help you. Do you think it's higher or lower? I can go much lower. <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen the finish yet. <laughs> um, I'd say lower. Well, that's your no, 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 no. OK, now, what have you got? You've got the Eight of Hearts, Minister of Defence Sultan Hashim Ahmed. OK. Yes, we well, that's boo, a mass murderer, I thought. <laughs> it's a middle card here. It's a middle card, so this is difficult. Tricky. I never saw this program. No. <laughs> I know, that's why it's such fun for me. <laughs> Ian can't get ITV on his television. <laughs> so come on, what, the audience will help you get Marcus. Marcus. Well, you, you have to, say, you have to say higher or lower, but it's in, it's in the middle. So, it I is mean, in on the, the middle, one so it's a gamble. Have... Oh, higher, higher. So a gam would be higher, as would Rumsfeld. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are the audience? Higher. You, you think I'm ever going to say higher? Right, let's have a look at this. It's the Eight of Spades. Oh. Deputy Prime Minister Tariq Aziz. Oh. And you have a pair. You don't get anything for a pair. <laughs> Not in this game. <laughs> Ian, you've, you've lived so much in your life. You've lived... <laughs> I've wasted oh. my youth somehow. <laughs> I've got some old tapes I'll send you. <laughs> oh, God, I hope he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes over to Paul. Okay. And, Natasha, you've got control of the board. OK. <laughs> you have. Very important. OK, you've got an eight of spades here. Do you think it's higher or lower? Yeah. I think it's lower. I think it must be lower. lower. Yeah, it They're must be saying... lower. Oh, 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 yes. Five of hearts, yes. Chief scientist... 
Who does Sally? Oh, yeah, Chemical Sally. That was her, wasn't it? <laughs> OK, so it's marvellous. Now, the last one, the last one, it's a fairly low card, mm, isn't it? Mm, mm. <laughs> That'll go lower. Lower. <laughs> you want to go lower? lower? Yeah. What happens if we get that right? Then what? I've forgotten. Well, the you've won. Oh, we there we go to Barbados. What, both of you? <laughs> I'm about you go to Basra. I think. <laughs> <laughs> we say lower. We, we say, say lower. lower. Okay. After a five, yeah. do you think they're right? Oh, you're wrong. Oh. It's the star card, Saddam Hussein. So you won. So well you got done, Hussein. <laughs> Fourteen years for the show to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Ian's face was too comfortable. He really looked at it. What the hell, hell is going, going on? on? He always looks like that when he brushes up against popular culture. <laughs> <laughs> This is the ongoing row over Alistair Campbell's sexing up of the weapons of mass destruction dossier. <laughs> God, I would in one breath. I think. <laughs> Could you have a purple flash on this one? Could you go higher? No, I couldn't. <laughs> Tony Blair insists that weapons of mass destruction will eventually be found in Iraq. Well, it, it would be nice to see them, to see them. <laughs> <laughs> You read that autocue. I think you should really be a newsreader in your next life. <laughs> <laughs> you do it very smoothly. Are you being sarcastic? No, no. <laughs> now, round three is usually the odd one out round, but I've had a much better idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to play conveyor belt connections. <laughs> Ian and Marcus, you're first. Now, a number of different items will pass in front of you. <laughs> you must have seen you're... this, Ian. You must have seen this. Is this the end of the generation game? Yes. Yeah. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Bruce on the conveyor belt this time round are a tin of dog food, the crown jewels, a Klingon, <laughs> The Y chromosome, <laughs> a velociraptor, <laughs> a tea urn, some sewage, <laughs> constables, the hayway, <laughs> a cuddly toy, <laughs> it's 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 Ken. <laughs> a cockroach, Shep, <laughs> desert orchid, <laughs> Tinky Winky, <laughs> Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you've got 30 seconds, starting from now. Do you okay, remember okay. any of Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden. Yeah, there was some sewage. Tubby. There was a dog, the Teletubby. There yeah. was a cuddly Picture. toy. There was a hay wagon thing. thing. Uh, um, there was a uh, Y. The yeah, Y yeah, chromosome. Y, yes. yes. Um, <clears throat> A little, um, Co like an action man figure. Action man figure, tea's made, uh, electric blanket. Uh, electric blanket. <laughs> toaster, was calendar, that toaster? Calendar for 1973. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what else was there? What cockroach, did you get the cockroach? Cockroach, yes, cockroach, cockroach, yeah. 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 You did that, yeah. yeah. The cling on, you got the cling on. The cling on, yeah. The cling on, the cling on. Oh, and how many points did they get? 13. Oh. It's not over. What is the connection? Mm. What is the, that's the important thing. I've got to give you a bit of a clue. Yeah, give us a clue. It's very good. Well, having given them all the it's items bit... on the belt. <laughs> he cares. Oh, he cares. <laughs> Ian's getting competitive. <laughs> on the increase. On the well done. Oh, well done, well the done. Yes, tap dance on the increase <laughs> in Switzerland. Yes. It is on the increase. Well, it must be temptation when the hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> that was Austria. You know your musicals, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that public school Ian appeared in an amateur version of the sound of music. That's right, mm. isn't it? I was Hitler. <laughs> 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 it's a walk-on part. 
part, but a necessary role. <laughs> Congratulations to Paul and congratulations to Ian, who has won the series. And as our series winner, Ian, we're going to offer you the chance to gamble. <laughs> the chance to gamble all your winnings against our fabulous mystery prize. <laughs> I'm doing this. <laughs> if you yeah, win, <laughs> and if you win, you get to keep both the series and the prize. But I must warn you: <laughs> if you lose, you lose the prize, and Paul takes the series. Okay? You just have to answer one simple question. Audience, what do you think you should do? <laughs> go for it. So you should go for it. <laughs> Gonna go for it, Ian. What do you reckon, Marcus? Yes, Ian. Gamble. Gamble. All right. <laughs> Very brave. There's now no help from our audience at this point in the show. <laughs> Here's your question, Ian. It's about football. <laughs> Who was the England captain for the match against Slovakia this week? Michael Owen. Well done! <laughs> Fantastic. Well done indeed. Do it. <laughs> Let's see what you've won. Well, Ian, you're going to be whisked away on a luxury jet to Brussels, the very heart of the European Union, to witness at first hand the workings of this exciting social, economic and cultural community. As the personal guest of disgraced French President Giscard d'Estaing. And as if that wasn't enough, we're throwing in 100 euros spending money. Well done. That's lovely. 